Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And like I said, this video is going to be about my recent um, piercing that I had just got done recently. Um, I wanted to vlog it and I was able to get some footage, but as far as the actual procedure that was being done, um, I wasn't able to record that unfortunately because they wouldn't allow it. So due to their um, policy, I wasn't able to record that part. So all you're getting is just some brief footage of, of me um, on my way to the parlor so that I can get the piercing done. Um, my first one, which is my conch right here, I had done over two weeks ago. Um, it has been exactly 16 days since I got um, my conch. Um, that one was a pretty painless experience and it was over very quickly. Um, in terms of my recent piercing, I have to say that it was a slightly different experience. Um, it wasn't really bad, but it wasn't entirely good either. The experience was good. However, shouts out to Generation X Tattoos and Piercing once again. Giovanni, thank you so much for taking good care of me. He took care of my first piercing when I got my conch. He also pierced my tragus. Um, my thoughts and my impressions on my new piercing. Pain level on a scale of 1 to 10. I have to say a 5. <laughs> my first piercing wasn't that bad. Um, because basically I didn't feel anything. Um, however, this one right here was a little different, okay? Um, it was quick and over with before I can blink my eye, but the initial pain, it was kind of unnerving because I, it was something that I wasn't expecting. But I think the reason why this one um, was a little more painful was because of the fact that this particular part of your ear where your cartilage is is close to the blood vessels in your face as well as in this area so as well as a concentration of nerves so when this area some people's and, and once again this is not to say that I'm speaking for everybody when it comes to you know their different experiences in terms of you know their piercings or what type of piercings that they get everybody's pain tolerance or their pain level is different mine was uncomfortable for the simple fact that i am kind of sensitive um when this one was done i didn't realize how sensitive this area was until i was actually pierced um the initial pain went through and it kind of radiated from here into this area of my face along the side of my face so it was kind of uncomfortable but it wasn't bad bad okay um like i said on a scale of one to ten it was like maybe i'd say a five maybe a four or five um very uncomfortable um one thing that i did notice is in some cases when some people get a tragus piercing like this um, some don't even bleed. Some have little to no bleeding. Me, however, I had bleeding. Okay. <laughs> even after I left the um, parlor and I was on my way home, it was bleeding pretty, I wouldn't say heavy. It was bleeding pretty bad. And I wouldn't say it was terrible either. But blood pooled around, you know, the base of my tragus because, like I said, it was a fresh piercing. And I have to admit, my cartilage here is pretty thick. Um, some people's cartilage is real thin, so there, it's not going to be as bad for some people as others who have thicker cartilage piercings here. And because my cartilage is pretty thick and, you know, it's sensitive in this area, it was uncomfortable. And the whole ride home, my ear is throbbing. <laughs> it wasn't burning or anything like that. It was just throbbing. Um, after initial pain, after the needle went through, I didn't really feel anything. But after, you know, the Labre was um, installed on my way home, I did feel some discomfort. It's been four days now since my piercing and the blood just stopped flowing, I believe, earlier yesterday afternoon, which was Thursday. Um, they ad um, advised me to saline wash this um three four times a day um because you know the blood was flowing you know fairly 
regular from my ear is the reason why I was saline washing this one four times a day. So I've been doing this four times a day for the last four days and the bleeding just subsided, I believe yesterday evening. So yeah, it was it was pretty bad because the pool, the blood was pooling behind my labrae, um, the, the flat back part of this piercing. And I had, had to use a, a saline soaked cotton tip to go behind, you know, the labrae and clean up in there and just keep it clean. Um, the one thing that I did notice that was kind of unusual, because I, I can't speak for everybody else and I don't know if they went through this. I had, uh, you know, like maybe two or three clots, which was surprising to me. But they were there. And as I cleaned and, you know, you know, cleaned the crusties out because, you know, blood does tend to collect behind or um, the labrae and around the base of the back of the piercing. You have to keep that clean so that it doesn't dry up and set in place. And then you can set in for all kinds of nasty infections. And then it can actually get stuck in your ear when it comes time for you to take it out. So I was cleaning it you know, like medically for like the last four days in order to get this clean. But um, it's it finally stopped um, bleeding. And like I said, my cartilage is, is thick. So that's probably the reason why it kept bleeding. Because they, you know, Giovanni had to use a little bit of force in order to um, push the needle through. <laughs> but like I said, I absolutely love my new piercing. And he put in a standard stainless steel um le, um labray with a screw top ball on on this part i guess you can say and um it is an internal eternally internally threaded labray so um like i said the the bleeding just stopped um yesterday and it was fairly quickly over with before it even began so i was happy about that um like I said, I love my piercing, and the experience was nice. Um, it's only been my second visit there to the parlor, but I do plan on going back because I am getting more piercings, okay? <laughs> um, this one over here, like I said, I have an upper cartilage here. This one is a pain in the ass because the butterfly um, backing on it, it just keeps bumping up against everything. Um, and it's just so annoying. My ear is sore right now. And um, I just um, placed the order online with um, a company called bodyjewelry.com to get um, some 20 gauge rings. Um, gauges is the sizes of the back of the bars that are inserted into your ear. The standard gauge for regular earring piercings that I usually perform with a earring gun is 20 gauge and then the ones that you standard get like the the standard size that you get with professional piercers such as these are 16 gauge so in order for me to even put anything into this upper cartilage i would have to um do a um 16 gauge which this small tiny piercing is not it's a 20 gauge so i went ahead on bodyjewelry.com and i ordered um two um, I guess you can say cartilage um, rings. One is mermaid colored and is really, really pretty with a ball on it. And the other one is a sterling, um, not sterling silver, but a stainless steel um, cartilage ring that has a cluster of diamonds on it. So I'm looking forward to getting those two so that I can switch this stupid stud out of my ear because it is hella annoying and it, my ear is so sore right now. So I'm trying not to touch this side of my um, ear up in here. at all until you know my rings come meanwhile um on spiritadornments.com i went ahead and i bought these um rods they're like small metal rods to where you can stretch your ears um you can stretch your piercings if you want to um i bought two because you can't jump from i think the sizes range from 14 to 20 gauge you can't jump from 20 gauge to immediately a 16 in order to even, you know, fit standard size piercings like this from professional piercers into your ears. You have to do it little by little. So I bought a 20 gauge um, um, labray. 
um, which is a little um, stainless steel um, piece of metal that you can insert into your piercing and you can kind of push it as far as it can go in because it comes to a point but as it you know extends out it kind of widens and that way as you um, insert it into the ear you can um, push it in as far as it will go in order to widen it um, so that it can be comfortable and then you give it some time for your ear to adjust so that it can stretch so I bought one that's a 20 gauge that um, is um, like from a 20 gauge to an 18 gauge, I believe. And then I bought another rod that varies in range from an 18 to a 16 gauge. So after I finish stretching this piercing with the 20 to 18 gauge, I can go ahead and use the um, 18 to 16 gauge in order to um, enlarge my piercing so that I can, you know, put in some cute little labrets that I bought from spiritadormants.com. Um, one of them I had shown in my last video. Recently, I just got a new one that is super cute, and I'm going to show you what that is after this. And like I said, I bought two pieces from um, bodyjewelry.com, and I'm also going to include pictures of those. So I'm looking forward to using those, you know, in my upper ear so that I can just have a regular ring. And that way um, I don't have a post from the back of my ear that's just bumping up against everything and rubbing up against my ears, which is just painful. And it, like I said, it's, it's just effing aggravating and I'm just ready to get this post out. Um, other than that, I love my piercings. And like I said, I'm going to go back for another piercing and that's going to be my um, doth. Um, people normally call it daith, but it's really a doth. And that's the one where it will be inserted like right as you can see I got something up in here because my ear is so sore but um it's going to be a date that's going to be um like pierced right in the, this inner part of this cartilage right here and I want to get a beautiful diamond clicker in order to go into that area so that is my experience with getting my new tragus piercing I absolutely love it no pain no gain right so, like I said, it, it won't last forever. I've been taking very good care of it. I'm going to continue to keep taking care of it so that I can go ahead and eventually switch this out for a beautiful diamond piece that I would like to have right there. So, like I said, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. And that's another thing. Um, in terms of people asking me, you know, recently, how do you sleep on those at night? I basically use a neck pillow. Um, the one that I ordered is a green one that I had gotten from eBay from Crossies. Um, it's not as comfortable because it's inflatable and I have to use an air pump in order to, you know, blow it up so that I can lay on it. Um, however, I do want to get a soft fabric one that is like horseshoe shaped that I can lay my head in and my ear will be in the center of the pillow so that it is not rubbing up against the pillow itself. So I'm just, I'm just going to show you guys what my pillow looks like. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is the pillow that I use to sleep on at night so that I don't disturb my piercings and bump them or, you know, make them uncomfortable. And it looks like this. <laughs> this one I had gotten from eBay, and it's inflatable. And as you can see, there's a opening right here to where you can basically pull this out, as you can see right there, and pull the top off of it. You hear the air leaking out, right? And it also comes with a pump that looks like this. And I just go ahead and just see if I can demonstrate this. I just go ahead and stick this part into the opening. You can hear the air coming out. And then you just use this part right here to pump air into the pillow. I'm trying to. And you can make it as soft or as firm as you want. I usually try not to make it too firm because it'll be uncomfortable to sleep on. And it's not very comfortable for me if it's too firm. So this is what my little <laughs> pillow looks like. And when I sleep on it, my ear is right here when I sleep on the pillow. Like I said, it can become very uncomfortable because it's so huge. So this is how I sleep on the pillow. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty large, but I usually try to keep it pretty soft and so that it's comfortable for me to lay on. If it's too firm, 
I can't lay on it. But this is what I use when I sleep at night. And like I said, it comes with a pump. And I got this from eBay. So this is what I use to sleep on at night. So it would just be best or advisable for you to just go to, you know, a regular store like Walgreens or anywhere where they sell, you know, travel gear or, you know, go in the pillow section and just find a regular horseshoe shaped fabric neck pillow that you can lay on so that you're not laying on your piercings and aggravating them because like I said the more you bump them or rub them up against anything or you touch them you prolong the healing process of your piercings and they become more and more uncomfortable as time goes on each time you're disturbing them or you're you know not taking um, extra precaution to not rub them like mess with them or even play with them or bump them up against something or just you know even if you brush your hands accidentally across your piercings it can it can be a painful experience while it's still healing so like they said you know just leave it the hell alone don't bother to touch it clean it make sure you sleep on a neck pillow so that you know you're not rubbing up against them or touching them and you'll be good so i hope this answers some people's questions about um, the piercings that I've gotten recently, and like I said, I love them. I'm becoming addicted to piercings now. I don't know if I'll, you know, go as far as to um, get the um, dermal piercings because I heard um, they're kind of painful. Um, I just like, you know, regular piercings. I've had my nose pierced before, and I've been seriously contemplating whether I should get my nose re-pierced or not. But I don't know if you can see it, but I do have a little mark right here where I've had it done in the early 90s, but it was done by an amateur. He swore he knew what he was doing. Used an earring gun and a regular earring um, um, backing the, the drive into my nose, so it was very painful, and because it was aggravated so much the the healing process took a long time and because it wasn't healing is the reason why I took it out and I'm glad I did because like I said the person who did it didn't know what the hell they were doing so I'm contemplating going back and getting my nose repairs possibly in the near future but I know definitely I'm gonna go back and get my doth piercing over here what's up everyone today I decided to go ahead and go to the parlor and get my tragus piercing today so i decided to blog this one this time and i hope you guys enjoy this but i'm gonna go ahead and go to generation x um i was supposed to be in there at eight o'clock it's 8 15 now so i'm gonna run out of the door real quick so that i can get to the parlor but yeah i'm gonna vlog this so you guys can see my new tragus piercing that i'm gonna get on this side so here we go <laughs> in advance first if it was okay for me to record because this is for my YouTube channel I'm getting a piercing tonight <laughs> no we have a no video on policy I'm okay sorry. alrighty um, I had called earlier about a track is piercing uh -huh. and I had spoke with Mike and he said it was a current special going on okay yeah $10 off okay cool right, you want to do it yes you got your ID alright uh, yeah hold on let's see if I can get it out Okay guys, I'm back from the parlor and this is what I'm looking like. I had to um, clean it up first before you could actually see it. I don't know if you can um, see it from this angle, but right there. That's my new track is piercing. And like I said, I had to clean it up because 
it bled considerably. I wouldn't say, you know, it was blood everywhere and it was flowing, but it pulled around the base of my um, of my um, 16 gauge um, post. And I had to clean the back side of it, the underside of it. But um, it wasn't really bad, but I have to say that I felt it a little more than I did my conch piercing, which is right there. And um, it was a, it was a little painful, but it was over with like as quickly as it was when I did my conch piercing about almost two weeks ago. I absolutely love my piercing. And I'm probably going to wait until maybe a month from now before I get my doth. And that one is going to go over in here. So yeah, that way it'll even it out. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any further um, questions or additional comments, you can just leave them down in the comment section below. Um, any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And I will check in with you guys later. Bye, superstars. I love you all. Bye. Mwah.